Hello everybody, welcome to another video and I know it's been a while. <laughs> um, I was watching one of my old ones actually and I was like, oh, do you know what, I haven't been up the mountain in a while. So here I am up on my dad's mountain again, which we'll climb in a bit. The walk up has left me a bit juddery so I've decided to stop just the other side of those sheep pens there. Uh, I'm gonna have some lunch here. I've got a real turn mat. Oh my god, look how... I don't mind so much, but it's just in one patch and another one down here. If it was both sides, it'd be fine, but it looks like I've had a spill. <laughs> Joys of aging. Uh, yeah, so uh, the rock that my bag's on top of there is gonna make a nice flat cooking platform, hopefully. Uh, cooking. I've gotta boil some water, so I'm gonna go do that. Uh, and this is a good place to stop as well, because uh, two people behind me uh, walking the dog and going for a bit of a hike, so. I'm out of their way now. Um, it's weird though, because like nobody ever comes up this way, and as soon as I go to set off, they've they've pretty much followed me. <laughs> well, well, that's cool. It's all good. Right, let's get this food on the go, because I'm hungry. Been a while since I've used this little fella. Good, he does sit there. This bit in there, and over the top we go, hopefully. <sighs> now there's a forward tilt on there. Oh my god, it smells of smoke. Good, I remember fuel. Oop. Well, that's not good, the rubber seals come off. Oh, that's off the lid, I guess. Whoops. Let's try the uh, striker, see if that works. Yeah. Everything else is on fire as well, though. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Not overly stable. <sighs> yeah, I think it's going to be about 300 mil. Alright, that's not level. Okay, this is the meal in question. Uh, Kailing tikka masala, chicken tikka masala, uh, by Real Termat. Uh, it's add hot water, 300, uh, sorry, 3.7 DL of hot water. I think that's 370 mil. I'm only putting 300 on. Uh, and then, well, we'll see how that goes because sometimes these are a bit on the wet side. Okay, make sure to stir well, close and ziplock and leave for eight minutes. Those eight minutes might be agony. <laughs> uh, all the while I'm keeping an eye on this though, because it's not level. Uh, it should be stable though, there's nothing to make it move. In theory. Unless we have an earthquake. Okay. Or if I fall on it, which could happen. Put a hat back on, Jesus Christ. Right. That's better. I usually bring um, additional methylated spirits with me as well, but for some reason or another, I've decided not to do that today. I've got plenty of water and drink and stuff. Uh, I suppose if the worst case scenario happens, I could use twigs in it later, but I want a cup of tea at the top. Um, and if it spills, obviously, I'm going to run out of methylated spirits and use, lose all of my hot water. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about it. <laughs> Because I'm so hungry. Can you eat this thing cold? I don't know that you can. I don't think so. Um, I'm going to wait though. I don't even want to take the lid off. So what I'll do is I'll grab 
grab for the handles which hopefully aren't hot and put it straight on a rock which hopefully won't tumble that one over there is kind of flat enough I hope let's go for it because I heard it was starting to boil there's a, oh, there's a sheep poo there, that's nice <laughs> okay let's see, can we I didn't bring my little knife with me, oh I did right, okay, let's see if we can do this put you down for a second burning fuel here let's see how this goes ha right how far away do I have to go because I'm not fiddling about with this right tear the top right -o. that's torn and hmm doesn't torn very well Nope, oh, there we go. Is there a moisture absorber in one of these things? I don't think there are in the real turnout ones. Oh, that's good. Do you want to have a quick look at this before my water gets cold? Ooh, that's hot. That's very hot. Uh, maybe that was too much. In fact, I'm not going to chance putting the rest of that in. Let's get our spoon. Where is our spoon? There is our spoon. There we go. I've um, I've had this for a while. It's done some miles with me already. This one. So the last leg of the Glindor Way, this was uh, this came with me, uh, and I didn't eat it then either. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Whoa! <laughs> Here we go. How cool is this? Um, sealed, nice. Here's my hat, almost perfect size. My second hat. My hat for later. There we go, and I'll just pop that in my bag, out the way, for now. I always end up doing that when I bring my chair with me. Put my bag on it so it's out of the dirt. I'm actually sitting on a rock and it's quite cold actually. Uh, but yes, I thought I'd um, take this opportunity while I'm waiting for my food to have a quick chat with you. Um, it has been a while and I'm sorry about that. October's been exceptionally busy uh, and also I sort of did get a bit into uh, a rut where you sort of, um, I don't know, bury yourself in work and uh, other hobbies and like I've, I haven't even been running that much these last couple of weeks. Um, just sort of staying in. I mean the weather hasn't helped but just sort of staying in and yeah, not doing much. Um, I talk to a lot of my friends uh, online and I see a lot of them every couple of weeks um, at least so it's not like I haven't had anyone to talk to um, but sometimes it is easy to just no I'm not doing anything today there's some days where the most productive I've been is like, putting a load of washing on um, and that's that's bad and that seems to happen this time of year but I thought I'd make the most of it today and get out and get out and just go climb a mountain. Look at some views. It's not windy, it's not raining. So, good time to do it, I think. Um, it gets dark early now, so I have to remember to bring a torch with me wherever I go. It's uh, it's 10 to two now. I reckon I've got two more hours before the sun goes down. But around here, it's quite weird anyway, because you've got this big slab of a mountain over here so we're in shade now already. Uh, anyway, after I've eaten, I'm going to go up the top of this mountain and we're going to go and hopefully find this mine shaft that I missed last time. Um, and then just have a chill out up there. I'll have a cup of tea, hopefully. I've saved a bit of meth, so hopefully you can have a cup of tea and enjoy the view. I was going to have food up there, but <laughs> I'm so hungry. Decided I I'd have it down here, which, is, which I think was a good shout. I'd only actually been set off for about 25 minutes. 
but it's amazing how quickly that hill takes it out of you. Hill, it's a mountain, um, so we're quite high here already. Yeah, so um, I've been deflecting a bit about uh, it's it's not it's not a dangerous thing, this not wanting to do anything, um, but it can develop. Uh, my nose is running. It can develop into a bit of a cycle where you feel bad. Well, I do anyway. I feel bad, and I don't want to um, go out and just like I'll just exist within these four walls. And that that's fine um, and then that's fine for a little while but then I'm like I feel terrible and then I eat terribly and then I um, feel worse and then I don't sleep and then I feel worse and then I'm tired and then I feel worse <laughs> so and it just it sort of keeps going round and round so I'm trying to break that cycle today um, and then tomorrow if I feel like doing nothing you know it's not so bad because I've gone out and I've done something today and it's, it's just just something for me just something where I wanted to go out and walk I wanted to do a video as well because I feel bad that I'm not doing those um, so I know nobody's put me under pressure to make these videos they're, they're for me and I enjoy doing them but I felt like I couldn't be bothered um, and it's felt, and then that's felt, made me feel bad about doing it now. So at least I filmed it now. I can edit it tomorrow if I want to, or I can edit it whenever I feel like it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm trying to get across to you here. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to move on. We're going to have some food. I might try sitting in the chair. Turns out that stone wasn't just cold, it was wet. Do I have a wet butt? That's not going in the final. I'll cut that a little bit, but that's <laughs> ridiculous what we're doing. <sighs> yeah, that's better. Ooh, I'm very excited about this. Uh, yeah, I'll swap the battery after this. But uh, you're right. How we did we do with this? Oh. Not only is that one of the nicest freeze-dried meals I've ever had, it might be one of the nice curries, nicest curries I've ever had. That is amazing seems to have rehydrated well really well oh my god All right see you in a bit that's insane wow that was really good <sighs> amazingly good All right i've got to chill on now so it's time to get going again. I think my my be my brother and my dad actually. So I'll go and have a quick look. Wow, that's impressive. Hey, yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'm good to be. Just on the top. I'm draw. Wow. Yeah. Hello. Hello, camera. Yeah. Uh, 
Ça va, ça va. 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 Ça I have a cup of tea. I might see if I can find that mine shaft. It's over there on that one somewhere, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Just to have a look. I didn't find it last time I was there, so just to have a look, not to do anything with it. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, we're going down to have something to eat. We're hungry. Right, we better go. Yeah, yeah. No I'll worries. see you in a bit then, Dad. Yeah. Oh, it's that. Miss, miss him. Yeah. But we'll turn it off. We'll save the fuel. Save the fuel. Right, oh. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll see you later, Dad. See ya. Bye now. I was hoping I'd get a lift. Oh, this is what I mean about uh, losing the light with these steep mountains. I mean, yeah, it's gone a bit cloudy as well, though. But uh, it's a lot of shadow right now. It's only 25 past two, and uh, we're not at the top yet. As you can see. I always forget how steep that climb is, especially at the end. But we made it to the top now. I'll uh, quickly show you this view uh, before I head off for the mine shaft, or at least where I think it is. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look, puffball mushrooms. There we go. Somebody put some stones here for a bird to do a poo on. The view's probably better from that jutty bit out there, so we'll go down to that as well then. This mountain's like a wave breaking. The back of it's flat. It's, it's actually, well, attached to this one and that one over there. Um, but it's like, so it's like a summit on the shoulders of another one. I mean, this mountain only actually starts down that valley down there which was a hell of a climb to get up to to begin with um, but here we are uh, heesh. that's quite terrifying you probably can't assess that distance but that's probably about five six meters straight down well, probably 12 actually, it's probably double that. It's, if I'm almost two, it's definitely... You hit the ground pretty hard, just falling from there. So let's not go over. And then it is very steep all the way down. There's a little cave where that spoil slope is over there. It's full of water though, so I've never gone in it. And uh, there's that very orange birch in the distance that we passed, the silver birch. At least that's what I think it is. Right. Uh, so this is uh, pretty gnarly, so uh, let's head back, look for this mine shaft, which is probably on that mountain top there somewhere. And this uh, not so flat bit, sort of here I think it was, well it really wasn't flat was it? <laughs> Maybe it was more over here, would I have done it further away from the edge? Yeah probably, I'd have done it in this bit here, yeah. That is where uh, I did the um, solo mountain camp. My first and last to date. So uh, I'll put uh, the video is here, a bit of it. It'll be at the end as well in the title card, so check them out. What are those? It's mushroom season. <laughs> Check out me following this lovely little road. And you see, it turns where it turns right there. We want to carry on going, basically follow the fence line onto that. Where is it? This sort of ridge bit here, uh, there, and then onto those tops. So we'll do that. And if we find this mine shaft, it'd be amazing. It's on those tops somewhere, I think. This is the entirety of Craig Riath approach from the back. That's the bit where the cliffs are. 
and the cliffs are on the other side all the way around again it's like a a wave breaking almost oh look at that valley going up there nice that's uh come through us and like i said the uh Bala road there these two peaks that look really far away are the highest peaks in the Bedouin mountain range, which is the mountain range we're in now. Those high peaks over there aren't in the Bedouin range. Uh, I'm not sure where they are actually. Fair ways away. That big hump over there in the flat, which is sort of backlit, which you probably can't see. If I zoom in, maybe I'll, I'll be, you'll see it better. That could be uh, Salamanek Rock and where Rodney's pillar is. Obviously you won't see the pillar itself, but yeah, that's mad. Right, let's go up to this edge then and you can see the view. Mostly because I steamed up when I stood still there. What I'll do is I'll probably do a lap round and then when I get to the other side, because down there, that shelf is a Gribbin, which is the other dominating mountain of Slanganog, so we're higher than that now. This one right in front of me here is Kunyai, which is also, which means horns, uh, which is also lower than us. So, we're, you know, we're quite high up here. <laughs> that one's the only one that's higher. And then obviously those two over there. Uh, Kader Bedouin's the one on the right, which I think is ever so slightly higher. And then more silk on the left. Right. Oh God, I, this is where the thing in my hind brain, this is why I'm rubbish at like extreme sports and stuff. My hind brain is screaming at me now, don't go any closer. In case the whole ground beneath me goes. But let's hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, those rocks down there are, uh, well, I think we can go a little bit closer, but oof, God. <laughs> the grind just ends. Oh God, and the river below. Oh. And the sheep pens. Oh no, that's making me feel weird. I don't like it. There's, there's too much open air in front of me. <laughs> I'm leaving. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's terrifying. That really did make me feel a bit, ooh, in the stomach. And I could have gone closer. But, no thank you. Here we are on one of the summits. You can see there's other mountains in the background as well. But I think this is the false one, I think. The actual summit is just there. And they've built something. Something's been built there. Look at this. Whoa, look at those. Oh, they've got holes in the middle. That's weird. Probably. I don't mean, I don't know, it might not be weird. Oh, I'm trying to work out logically as to where I would put a mine shaft. And I think down here where the caves are in this area, or just further down there, Look at that big lump. We're next to a big lump as well. There is a, a Iron Age hill fort up here. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> I think it's over here though. But about where that pile of stones is. But I'm gonna head that way and head up that way to see if the elusive mine shaft is here. I remember it being on that side of the mountain. So uh Going that way is probably a bit silly. Let's go this way. At the top. We're gonna go to that edge so you can see the view. Then I'll come back up here and then I'm heading straight for that fire road. And we'll go back down that way. Here we go. Stone circle. I said this used to be a, a, a Iron Age hill fort. I think it was iron, it might have been bronze age actually. Bronze would make more sense. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know why it would make more sense. I'm not a historian. <laughs> I read that though. So that looks like a dwelling. And here's another one in front of us. Round, sort of 
roundness of a dwelling relatively flat on the top yeah I don't know how they would have but they've built walls to a certain height and then thrown timber and uh, animal hide over the top or something I'm not sure Oh god, I, I do want to show you the view, but I don't really want to scramble back up here. <sighs> what do you reckon? Shall we? We're, we're, oh, look at that. We're, we're up here now, we might as well. Yeah, I'm going to need both hands for now. I'll come back. I think that line of green that runs down there, I think you can possibly follow that back down uh, although it does look like it ends I don't want a chance, it's a bit dangerous but that would take you to the caves um, the caves is a video that I did a very long time ago as part of uh, the forest which is a video game in real life sort of series of videos me and a couple of friends uh, Stephen Gray went and uh, yeah, did that really. We went into some caves. So, um, I'll try and find and link that video as well. Just the cave one. You don't want to see the other shenanigans we got up to. It was a, I was a younger, younger man and still probably should have known better. So there we go. Sorry, yeah, so the videos will be linked in the, um, end screen if I remember and I can find which video it is also the one where I camped on top of here not here the first mountain and why the hell not I might link my two mountains which is basically I came up here with inferior action cam and basically did the same thing uh, that I'm doing today but didn't film it with night approaching so there's an added added challenge um god gonna be that edge god damn it <laughs> right even I am chancing this and I grew up on these mountains so um be careful if you're out and about on tricky terrain like this and it's getting dark uh, if you're not planning on spending the night turn back about an hour before you think you need to I've given myself half three like I say, I know the place so I'm pushing it a bit. It's gone half three now. Um, and I think it'll still be some re residual light until about half four at least. So I'm confident that I can get back to a well-trodden track by then. Uh, fingers crossed that works out. <laughs> right. Check this out. If it's any further down, I'm still turning back because this is getting silly now. At this point, it might be easier to head back down that way, but we'll see. Ah, yeah, here we go. Perfect. Perfect indeed. This is what I came on here to get. This is probably my favourite view off this mountain. Oh, actually, it is a long way down to where I think those mine shafts are. I think they're the other side of this big lump that's sticking out about halfway down the mountain. That's a long way down. And again, too much open air for me, but check that out. I'm gonna do a panorama on my phone as well. Yeah, it's time to head back that way. Right, yes, no sign of this mine shaft though. But better not to find it than accidentally find it and then fall in it. Probably. No, definitely. This has been a good one. I, I'm definitely still getting some weird aches and pains. Uh, around my back mostly. Uh, and the terrain's quite rolly on my ankles. So they're a bit sore. But otherwise, feeling pretty good. 
I think the, the running has definitely helped my fitness, but obviously I'm used to doing that on mostly the flats of the hills, so it's still quite, <laughs> quite challenging. Right, good, nice to come out, enjoy the day. <laughs> Good chat. <laughs> Change of hat. Not on this one in a little while, but my ears were getting cold. Right, down the hatch. Not literally, hopefully. This is quite steep. There we go, we're off the worst of it. So we've just come down the other side of that bank, down and here. Still quite steep, but not too bad. Not as bad. And uh, yeah, it's, it's quick going. <laughs> it's um, not quite half past four, which means it's less than an hour since I left the top uh, to go and explore that cliff edge. <laughs> the last cliff edge, the one when we turn back. So yeah, it's been quite quick coming back to be honest. It's definitely, the temperature's definitely dropping, I can tell because uh, I keep getting breath. <laughs> but uh, I won't do it now, of course. Um, oh, helicopter. It's lower than the mountains, you probably can't see that. Yep, yeah, anyway. All right, let's carry on. Should we go check out this trailer? Shall we? I think we should. Like I say, this I've said well like I've said in the past, this trailer's been here forever. I can see why, because we're in a bog. Oh god. Yeah, there's running water there. I saw run off down here and it's obviously got stuck in the bog. Yeah, that's very boggy. Uh, decks out of the water. I don't know if you can see in there, it's quite dark. Yeah. Nature reclaiming the stock trailer. Oh, I'm gonna, oh god, I'm getting out of here. Right, <laughs> this way. Wow, well, that's where we were, up there and up there. Back now, well, not really. <laughs> Back onto the track here, we're about to descend again out of the Hanging Valley. Here she is, smaller than I remember, and a bit more mossy. Oh yeah, that moss is really wet. I'll set it. I'm gonna sit on it anyway. <laughs> right, I'm gonna let this cover tea on a go. Persistence is key. Well, not in this case. All right, we'll try something else. Let's try the magical spoon. There we go. <laughs> now, there's not a lot of ga uh, gas, I would say. There's not a lot of um, water. Meths, there's not a lot of meths left. So, um, something like that should be enough. Wonderful. Uh, 
that could be a problem. I don't know whether to wait until it goes out or what. Those handles are going to be pretty hot, I should imagine. The saga continues. I think it's going to go out on its own, which is uh, just as well. There, finally. Jesus. I think it just ran out. <laughs> How hot are these? Oh yeah, they're still very hot. I'm gonna, might just. <laughs> oh bloody hell. Does this even come to a boil? It's hot. Can you even see? My God, we've lost the light. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have my uh, cup of tea. These handles have cooled down already, so that's cool. Uh, uh, let's pour the water in. There we go, right. Not that you can really see much anymore. I'll have my cup of tea, then I'll head back. But I'll say goodbye in the little light that I have, and then the rest of the video can be my um, my wander back after my cup of tea. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I will see you in the next one, which will hopefully be not such a long wait away, but we'll see. <laughs> Bye for now.